Kevin Rudd has ratified the Kyoto Protocol today, the first act of the new Australian government. The Kyoto Protocol the will... government has set a target of a 60% reduction in greenhouse emissions the by 2050. followed suit, setting even tougher targets of zero net emissions by 2020 and putting pressure on local service providers to offer greener solutions at the supply chain level. I think the environmental changes and, uh, that are facing both state and local government are the same that are facing all of us. Certainly being a, a premium provider to both the state and local government, we felt more than an obligation, we felt a need to go out and search for innovative products, hence the manufacturing and production of green pave. Three divisions. The environmental service is primarily uh, waste collection and street cleaning. The open space service is primarily parks, gardens and tree maintenance around Australia, particularly New South Wales and Victoria. Infrastructure division is the civil operations, road maintenance and today we're talking about our asphalt operation, Green Pave. We're looking for innovative and sustainable solutions and we have that through our partnership with Citywide through our infrastructure contract and the Green Pave uh, warm asphalt um, that's here in K Street in Carlton is a perfect example of that. Our initial testing showed there was a 30% reduction in greenhouse gas emissions, both from the manufacture and from the lane process. Normal hot asphalt mixes are manufactured at 160 to 170 degrees. Green Pave is manufactured at only 110 to 120 degrees. That's 60 degrees cooler than normal asphalt. This leads to substantial benefits. Green Pave offers over 30% reduced fume emissions during manufacturing, over 30% reduction in greenhouse gases, and up to 55% reduction in fine dust. Well, when we produce Green Pave and warm asphalt, they physically look the same. In the field, uh, you cannot tell the difference other than you've got less emissions from the warm asphalt. In terms of asphalt performance, the European experience has been that roads paved with the green paved material perform as well, if not better, than normal hot mix materials. In Australia, our experience so far with the 14 or 15 trials to date has been exactly the same. Citywide has very strong ties with local government and the opportunity to implement Shell's WAM phone technology at North Melbourne here was ideal because those close partnerships could help us get the product on the ground together. The North Melbourne Asphalt Plant uh, is unique in, in that it is very close to the city centre. Um, clearly we have to take into account the local residents when we are designing and manufacturing a plant of this nature. We needed to make this plant something pretty special. So by putting on uh, blue smoke emission reduction, um, carbon emission reduction and the ability for it to make uh, asphalt at a very, very low temperature, we were able to make this plant something that's not been seen anywhere in the world. Comparing to a traditional asphalt plant, uh, both with temperature and with dust emissions, we've seen reductions of over 30%. Against the original plant that was here previously, that figure is probably as high as 70%, so quite significant. Well, the Green Pay product is manufactured using Shell's WAM foam technology, which was developed with a company called Colo Videka in Norway and it's the first time it's been used in Australia. Green Pave is produced using a hard and a soft component and the hard component is foamed in the asphalt mill. That foaming process reduces the viscosity of the bitumen which makes it more workable and enables it to be paved at far lower temperatures, up to 50 to 60 degrees lower than normal hot mix. I think it's uh, the collaboration that we've had with Shell and Aman has been terrific so it does show that when you get international companies working with a local company you can indeed create something it's worthwhile. We're not always breathing in the fumes from the green pave, so it's got to be a lot better for your, your lungs. The heat is, with normal asphalt, is extensive. With green pave, it, is a lot, it comes out and is usable at a lot cooler temperature, which means all the boys are a lot happier. And on a 30 degree day, we're not all dying by the end of the day. During winter, the limiting factor is really the ground and the air temperature. With hot mix, you probably can't pave until 9 or 10 a.m. in the morning sometimes because you physically can't work the material to a quality that's acceptable to the customer. Green Pave offers citywide the opportunity to pave earlier in the morning and because the product is more workable, get the same quality of, of compacted pavement as normal hot mix on any given summer's day. We're able to complete the works much quicker uh, with reduced uh, disruption to both traffic and to other operations in the area. 
Citywide is committed to helping councils and other clients reach their emission reduction targets for 2010 with the use of green paved asphalt. Well, Citywide and Shell have been working together with various local councils such as the City of Melbourne, Wyndham and Moreland City Council to actually put the green paved asphalt down in a number of trial sites around Melbourne and they've all been very successful so far. We've laid over 500 tonnes of asphalt in K Street and Rathdown Street just around the corner. From us blokes at Citywide, we give it a thumbs up. We all like working with it. Green Pave has got some fantastic environmental benefits for us. We're very, very happy with it so far. I think that's the major benefit for our customers to be seen to be doing the right thing and actually having a product that can actually achieve that visibly and transparently. Mm -hmm.